One of the approaches that has been developed here at the Getty Museum is called a base isolation system. And one has to think about it as really a mechanism that decouples the object from the ground while the ground's moving during an earthquake. We have a model of it here, and you can see that it's a three-level uh, mechanism. The bottom level would be attached firmly to the floor. The middle level moves in one of the two lateral directions. The upper level, to which the object is firmly attached, or the exhibition case or the pedestal, moves in the opposite lateral direction. We've, we've got this model attached to a very simplistic um, earthquake, a very simple form of shake table. So when we turn it on, the table will roughly give a sense of motion the way the earth would move in a real earthquake. Of course, in a real earthquake, it wouldn't be that regular. It would be a lot choppier. It might be considerably stronger, but this gives you an idea of how something might react to an earthquake when it's on the base isolation unit. So we'll put a model of a vase on top. And you'll see that although the vase moves a little bit, it doesn't move anything close to the forces that are being experienced by the table that's moving back and forth and representing the Earth. Now, by comparison, if we were to mount a vase on a case that wasn't isolated, I'll just put this vase here and try to catch it as it falls over. You see, we can't even get it to stand up. So the base isolation system is really taking out an enormous amount of force that would be imposed on the object otherwise during an earthquake.